Hello, this is Terribrit, and this is my first video. Um, as you can see, I'm installing Fallout 3. Um, this is what I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, how, Not really how to install the game, because that's easy. I just thought I'd start now to give you a bit of information. Um, but mainly how to install the mods, uh, some awesome mods really. But I would only advise, uh, if you're watching, and if you're going to follow my tutorial slash let's play, um, and you've never played the game before, please, please do without any mods. Um, have your experience first, um, as these mods are quite big mods and they change quite a, a lot in the game. Um, nothing really to do with story, uh, the storyline or anything, but um, you get options to skip, like the first tutorial section, which I don't advise if you're first uh, playing due to it's um, a key part in uh, the storyline um, that just made into a tutorial um, yeah and here are the mods that I'm going to be using um, Fallout 3 Wondrous Edition which is the overhaul mod um, I never used this mod before ever um, changes a lot of aspects of the game and it's got good reviews the Fallout 3 edit is to create a merged patch which is basically uh, a patch that helps the uh, all the mods the different mods because obviously there's more than one mod here work correctly together um, these are basically another patch to make mods work together uh, and run smoothly alongside each other force is basically a script extender for modders basically um, it enables mods to work uh, more stably if um, this is installed um, so I would really, really advise that mod. Um, MMMA is Mark's Mutant mod, um, and that changes quite a bit in the game. It changes, gives uh, the game a bit of variety in skins and monsters and um, height, and it also changes a lot of configuration as well. Uh, so yeah, I've used that one before, and it's very good. Um, WNK is uh, weapon mod, is weapon mod kits uh, that basically allows you to add silencers and stuff to existing weapons um, never used that before actually um, this archive invalidation is basically allowing you to m I'm not sure exactly what it does because I've never actually read but I know it's uh, a must because if not you've got to go in and change your text file every time you mod the game I think but I'm unsure but um, I know it's a key thing so make sure you download that as well uh, DUI is um, a mod to change the interface of Fallout 3, I think. Never used that before, but it's advised by Fallout 3 Wonders Edition. Um, uh, Fallout 3, the Garden of Eden kit, aka the GEC, is um, basically what mod is used to create maps and such. Um, I wouldn't particularly be bothered about downloading that if you're not bothered in making any maps or anything. It is quite a, a, a difficult program to grasp, you've just got to put a bit of time in. Um, the Fallout 3 um, official patch, uh, download that from the official website, um, fi fixes a lot of bugs in the game because obviously people, when when it first came out people was obviously like they all do when P PC games come out saying they support from the console version which it probably was and there's nothing that we can do about it um, the form is the Fallout 3 mod manager which basically allows you to um, um, order your mods in uh, in the correct order because you've got basically I'll show you actually um, you've got you've basically got here a load order basically you've got to put them in certain orders and such uh, this this actual uh, HTML document came with the um, Wondrous edition and I may refer to this a few times in my video um, to basically show you or just in case I forget something because there's a lot of mods that I'm installing today so it's quite a bit to get my head around um, so I, I probably will forget and mess up somewhere um, yeah, and this video might actually go to part due to the fact that I haven't used some of these mods before, so um, I might have configured them wrong, or I might 
do something totally wrong and mess it up totally. So yeah, hopefully this will go correct. And if you see this video on YouTube now, it most likely will have. Um, so yeah, um, I'll tell you a bit about myself if I've got a bit of time left. Yeah, we've got a lot of time left. Um, what what I aim to do is deliver tutorials on how to install stuff. Um, games such as Crisis 2, which I'll be doing walkthroughs to and let's play and all the other stuff for maybe some Minecraft videos and basically I'm not gonna lay my cards on the table and say this is what I'm gonna do because things may just change totally I may move totally out of gaming I may phase out of gaming then phase back into gaming I, I haven't got a clue really uh, the name that I'm using is Terabrit and the name came about when I was trying to think of a name, obviously. And the name that I originally came up with was ter just normal boring terabyte. But um, I was gonna change the spelling to T E W R O R um, B I T E uh, for obvious reasons. And but that name was taken, unfortunately. Uh, so then I decided to put angry in front of it which wasn't taken but it was ang angry terabyte which I didn't really it was a mouthful I didn't want a mouthful of a name um, so what I decided to go with was terabrit which basically sums me up a um, lot of information um, I'm a Brit <laughs> obviously um, and that's all I can that's all I came up with, but I thought it sounded great, and I thought, why not? We'll see what, how it turns out, and see what you guys think of it. This this goddamn game takes a long time to install, really, doesn't it? Um, let's see what else. Let's close that. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned the unofficial Fallout 3 patch. I'm really unsure, actually. I probably didn't, I probably just came off the subject totally. Um, unofficial, the unofficial uh, Fallout 3 patch basically fixes the stuff that the Fallout, uh, the official Fallout 3 patch didn't fix. Um, I forgot who actually put together the unofficial Fallout 3 patch, which I am really sorry about. <laughs> I should really know. Um, but that fixes a, a, the bugs that tend to get on your nerves probably the more eye candy bugs than anything else so stuff that weren't appearing correctly or yeah wasn't displaying correctly in the game that's been fixed a lot of that's been fixed um, yeah and that's about it so after this is finished installing I've got to install the DLCs from the um, from the Fallout 3 because the the version of the game that I've actually got is the game of the year edition which has two discs. One has the the, the game on it, Fallout 3, and the other one has all five of the DLCs on it. Um, or add-ons, they're not really DLCs, are they? We've got them on disc because that's downloadable content. Um, so yeah, um, the reason I picked Fallout 3 to do was my first one really, which even thinking about it now is a strange game to do first because it's about a year older now. Um, and but the the main reason I wanted to do this game was because it's it was a real good game. I mean, it must be one of the best games that I've played in a real real long time. Um, I've really enjoyed Fallout One, Fallout Two, um, then Fallout Three come out. I thought, wow, what a game! Fallout New Vegas was it wasn't what I imagined. I thought it would be a a big improvement on Fallout 3, but but what you will find is in Fallout New Vegas is that a lot of the mods that I'm installing for Fallout 3 are in the new uh, are in New Vegas. So at least it shows that the the developers of Fallout listened to uh, what people wanted and they took from what modders uh, created and put it into the original game. But I still didn't get the buzz uh, from Fallout New Vegas as I got from uh, Fallout uh, 3. It was just something else. 
Right, oh well, this is finished. Yes, uh, no, I don't want to do any of that because I'm obviously going to be installing the next disc. So let me install that.